Hey Margo. How are you holding up today? Oh my. I haven't felt this sore in a long time. I don't know why we are testing so many new cars lately. I think it's because of the whole green thing. Yes that's true, I have been super busy myself. Matter of fact, I think some of these engineers need to go back to school. Early this morning a car engine caught on fire and I haven't been feeling well ever since. Oh that happened to me once. I had to go to the emergency room. There they told me I had carbon monoxide poisoning, you know, from the smoke. I'm glad to know someone else has been through this. I feel awful. I have a headache, vomiting, dizziness and I'm totally confused too. Yes I know how you feel. I had those same symptoms too. They explained to me that carbon monoxide poisoning happens because it replaces oxygen in your blood. Really? I did not know that. Well, I did take some science courses in dummy school so I would love to know all the details. Please. No problem. I have super duper excellent memory. Okay here it goes. Carbon monoxide has 100 times higher affinity to hemoglobin that oxygen molecules do. When carbon monoxide is in the air you are breathing it takes place of the oxygen so you become hypoxic. Carbon monoxide also has a higher affinity for other types of cells in the body. This is why you have a variety of symptoms. Alright. I am following you so far. Can you tell me more about this hemoglobin and the affinity thing? Sure. Hemoglobin is a carrier protein in red blood cells that transports oxygen to tissues. Certain conditions will make this loading and unloading of oxygen molecules to target tissues happen more or less readily. Conditions like hyperventilating, alkalosis, carbon monoxide poisoning, hypothermia, and decreased in 2,3 dpg or cause what is called a left shift, meaning the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation is increased. Conditions like high altitude, carbon dioxide retention, acidosis, fever and increased 2,3 dpg will cause a right shift, meaning the dissociation is decreased. Oh and just in case you didn't know, 2,3 dpg is a substance in the blood that controls the movement of oxygen from blood to tissues. Let me see if I understand this. Hemoglobin O2 dissociation curve will shift right or left depending on hemoglobin affinity for oxygen. Compounds like carbon monoxide will increase hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen leading to a left shift. Wow you remembered a lot for being a dummy. When carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin it actually increases the affinity for oxygen so much that it won't let go of oxygen. I didn't mention that. This is bad because oxygen deprived tissue can get the oxygen because it's so tightly bound to hemoglobin. This is also explains why a pulse oximetry can be deceived. You see pulse oximetry reads hemoglobin saturation with oxygen. Since hemoglobin is saturated with oxygen this gives normal reading. Carboxyhemoglobin also affects pulse oximetry because it has similar light absorption as oxyhemoglobin. This also contributes to a false reading. That's great. When did you learn all of that? I used to be a physician assistant student prior to working here. I picked up this job to pay off my massive student loans. Unfortunately, the constant, repetitive impact of my head against the steering wheel gives me amnesia. There are times I can't even remember my name. Where are we again? I see. Well you're a crash dummy and you just explained how carbon monoxide affects hemoglobin. I'm no going to teach you how they treat people with carbon monoxide poison. They'll give a patient 100% oxygen. This lowers the half-life of carbon monoxide from 3 to 4 hours to 30 to 90 minutes. Oh yeah I remember. They give them O2 therapy until the patient is asymptomatic and carboxyhemoglobin levels are less than 10%. It's also important to monitor the patient's heart. Certain conditions like arteriosclerotic disease will cause sudden death in patients exposed to even small amounts of carbon monoxide. The heart is already under stress for oxygen with arteriosclerotic disease. Decreasing oxygen even more like carbon monoxide poisoning kills them faster. People who smoke can potentially have a carbon monoxide level as high as 10%. I can't believe you can remember so much for having amnesia. I would think that you're more of an idiot savant rather than suffering from amnesia. 
Well if an idiot savant can remember simple tasks like unzipping your pants before using a urinal, or that leaving your hand on a stove can cause severe third degree burns then I'd would love to be called that. But sadly I just have amnesia. Sounds to me that you're just a dummy.